from Aurangabad. Yes, we're on our way to one of the most magical sites here in all India. It's Ellora Caves. Yep, so we have hired a car for the day and we are going to see Ellora Caves along with one other site which is known as the Baby Taj and we're going to take you along today. I am so wrapped. This is the thing I was most excited about for this trip to India and we're finally here. So, so excited. All right, we've just got dropped off at the car park. Yep. Going to make our way to the ticket office. And it was a really nice drive. Um, a lot of like little smaller towns we went through. Again, double pricing. Two tickets, please, madam. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Can I be Indian for a day? <laughs> Okay, thank you, madam. So you get these tokens. If you lose these tokens, I saw it's 100 rupees to replace them, so make sure we put our token somewhere safe. <laughs> okay, so come with us while we show you these caves and some other sites around Aurangabad. And if you like what you see and you want to know more about what to book, how much it costs, and all of that information, stick around till the end. We can even see some of the original paint and artwork here. This site is from around 600 AD. Yeah, and, and because of the preservation of the carving and just the scale of it, it's one of the most famous rock temples in the world. It is, right up there with what? Anchor, yeah. Hegra, um, Petra. Exactly, all the main ones. This is right up there with them. And yeah, but it I mean, doesn't get the attention the others get. It doesn't. That's what I was just going to say. And also, you know, the entrance fee is very reasonable whenever you consider you get into all the temples for that amount. There's 100 temples, but 34 that you can go into, all covered in that 600 rupee fee. And okay, there's quite a few people here, but not that many compared to most of the other ancient wonders of the world or yeah. ancient places and temples that you can go see. So I think it's highly underrated. It is, but India's difficult. To to travel in. It is. <clears throat> that said, if you're in a city and you're thinking you don't like India, look up Aurangabad and come here because I think it could just change your mind. It could. Cave 16 is the most spectacular of the over 100 caves here at Alora. The monument is the largest single rock excavation in the world. This particular temple was built by 8th century King Krishna I. And although these temples get little recognition, it's often been described as a wonder of the world by those that have studied the site. So one of the most incredible things about this site is that it was actually carved from the top down, which is very different from, let's say, Petra, which was carved from the front back. I think a much more difficult task to carve top down. I think so too. And guys, this might not be one of the wonders of the world, but it certainly feels like it should be being here. It does, doesn't it? Feels like it's worthy. Oh, definitely. Amazing. And we're here at Buddhist cave number 10. And as you can see, this one is carved from the front back rather than the top down. Cave number 10 is one of the most magnificent caves here at Alora. It's one of the Buddhist caves and it was built in the seventh century.
Cave 15. A vehicle of Shiva. Nandi. 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 Nandi is good, Nandi. Yes. Fabulous visit to three of the caves there, Steph. So we went to uh, 10, 15, and 16. Yes, and it was absolutely amazing. I'd say give yourself a good three hours here if you want to see basically the Buddhist and um, Hindu caves. Even longer if you want to go to the Jain ones because they're a bit further away. They seem to have an electric shuttle that runs sometimes, but it doesn't seem to run that often. No. So that's to get to the Jain temples. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, just to ignore these guys too, that always want to sell you stuff in these sites. But we don't want to buy anything, so sorry sir, no thank you. Anything like that? Isn't it? That's enough for us. All right, we'll pick you up again at the Baby Taj. So these are the shuttles that can take you to the Jain temples. I think you have to pay extra for the ticket for those. You can see behind me there's quite a crowd now. It's about 11.30, so come early or come closer to closing. If you come in the middle of the day, you're going to be joined by a lot of people. A lot of domestic <laughs> a tourists. A lot of domestic tourists. Still aren't that many international tourists that visit this site. No. Compared to a lot of other places. Yeah. Okay, I'm going this one alone. I'm here at the tomb of Bibi Ka Makbara, which is colloquially known as the Baby Taj, and you're probably going to see why in a moment. So it says we need a camera ticket, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to put this away whenever I go in. It was 300 rupees for the ticket to come in. And this is the main entry gate. Here we are. You can probably see why it's called the Mini Taj. If you look closely, you can see that money has been thrown down as a, some sort of offering. What do you think? Is this as good as the Taj without the crowds? 300 rupee entrance fee that's about five dollars not even so well worth it um, I wouldn't say it's as impressive as the Taj Mahal but it's definitely an impressive sight it's beautiful and well worth a stopover if you're here in Aurangabad all right guys we've traded our nice car for a hot and dusty tuk-tuk <laughs> now that car this morning was 1,600 rupees which is about twenty dollars and I'd say for the length of time he waited and as far as he went that is excellent value booked it through the Green Olive Hotel and also highly recommend that hotel for a nice three-star no, uh, no frill stay but they booked the car for us it was a great price we've seen it other places for 2000 so it definitely was a good price mm. now you've had a hot and dusty day out looking at all the sites it's time to get some food right well we've got a couple of places we can recommend the first is Bouge Tali is that right did I say Bouge <laughs> Boj Tali, which we went to last night, and we'll just drop a few clips in here. Excellent Tali, wonderful food. We can highly recommend that for 320 per plate per Tali. And now we're going to another famous place here in Aurangabad called Hotel Tuba. We made it. We made it to Hotel Tuba. Let's see what they're on, they got on offer. Vegetarians. <laughs> no, the fine of art. I got my dog food here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are one what, brave girl. What do you recommend? What is best? <laughs> Uh, chicken tuba special. They've got beef here supposedly. Oh, wouldn't that be? Um, what's the 
not safe for which, stomach. Which one is good? Kya kya acha hai? Kya acha hai? Tuba special? Chicken tuba special? Okay. Uh, all right. We got Singapore curry. Okay, I think we'll have the half chicken tuba special. Chicken tuba half day. It's good. Yeah. Chicken tuba chicken? special is good. Ah, special. And f chicken is fresh. Fresh, fresh. No. No problem. No? Okay. And chicken tuba special. Do I need something with it, like roti or? Naan. 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 No. Naan. No. Okay. I guess I'll just have the chicken tuba special then. Chicken tuba laga, aur uske saath laga. Aur humari ek tandoori la. Aini roti mein sirvita do la. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, chicken tuba special it is. Well, the tuba special has arrived. Yep. And Susan doesn't seem to want to try it, so I guess it's all mine. <laughs> we can see here there's got some um, beetroot on there. It also has some cucumber. Makes me wonder if it's a little bit spicy with the cucumber on it. Um, is that sure cheese? It's spicy. Yes. A little bit of egg on the side, and then chicken <coughs> in. Chicken in some sort of sauce, some sauce on the side, and it's, some naan. It's a very old egg. Let's dig in. Go for it, Steph. Nice hot naan. Always a fan of naan. It looks like it's still on the bone, so this might be hard for me to eat. So grab it and put it on your plate first. Got cashews and almonds and stuff on there as well. This is in the Muslim quarter, so this is actually a family room. Uh, we weren't allowed to sit in the main restaurant, so we're here with the kids and the women. Okay, finally got a piece. All right, let me try this. Mm. Delicious. Delicious how? The chicken's really tender. It's got a spicy sauce on it, but it's not so spicy. Um, this naan is fresh, hot and fresh. And so it just makes this nice combination of flavors really good. But I have trouble eating with my hands. Sorry for those, I'm not supposed to use my left hand for anything, but I can't manage with just one hand, so. It's, it's a lot like of sauce. A yeah. Mm. The temperature, it's really hot. So that's just come fresh out of a big pot, I would say. Spicy? Really nice. mm. I'd say medium spicy by Indian standards. Probably too spicy for Susan. <laughs> well, Steph, you did a good job. I did as best I could. I had absolutely no help from my wing woman, so I did as best as I could. It is 240 rupees for this, including the water, and so that's about three US dollars. And definitely this was enough for two. So, yeah, what a cheap meal. And I thought it was delicious. Don't mind, Susan. <laughs> No English, by the way, so we just have to communicate by pointing. <laughs> well done. All right, so you've now seen what there is to do around Aurangabad. Where actually, to stay? Where to stay? There are actually some other caves and things that you can go to, but we just didn't have time, so that's up to you if you're not caved out. After Aurora, there's also a few others you can go to, Ajanta and Aurangabad actually has some caves right outside the limit. That's available. And you've seen two places to eat, so I can recommend either of these. If you're not feeling like, you know, um, adventurous. adventurous, the tali, I think, is something not very adventurous. Yeah. If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, grab a tuk-tuk, come to the Muslim quarter, try something like this at Tuba Hotel. Yep, and uh, <clears throat> this was 24 hours in Aurangabad. Yep, so I really enjoyed it. Not sure where to 
come on your next time when you're coming to India, I say check out Aurangabad and check out those caves and see how amazing they are. Yeah, definitely. Alora number 16, 10 and 15. Beautiful. Fantastic, weren't they? Yep, amazing. All right. We're here. Girls and We are. Bye Catch for next now. Time.